Hey Star Wars fans, thanks for tuning in to another video. I just wanted to talk about uh, Anakin Skywalker. Uh, basically, we've got the uh, the voice of Hayden Christensen in the recent Ahsoka sort of teaser trailer. We're a week out from the Ahsoka series. And uh, yeah, kind of blown away by the fact we're hearing sort of like Clone Wars related quotes or Clone Wars animated series quotes from Hayden Christensen. Now, I haven't gone and done my research and actually lined up to see if the quote is like 100% accurate, the same as something we heard in the Clone Wars, but to hear Hayden Christensen talking to Ahsoka at a time where they're both both younger and she's newly apprenticed to him um, sort of got me thinking about about Anakin Skywalker in the sort of Clone Wars outfit and, you know, this, what we're looking at right in front of us. Um, and that's actually, honestly, one of my favourite Anakin Skywalker sort of looks is the original sort of Clone Wars, early Clone Wars sort of outfit. Um... And I still very much like to get the Hot Toys to go go with these figures, but um, yeah. So got a couple of carded versions of of Anakin. That's the original version from two thousand and eleven, I think. Let's take a look at the back. 2012, 2011, 2012 at least. Um, and this is when they were still showing, you know, lots of figures. So I'm gonna just pop off this protective case, and we'll take a look. Because yeah, it's the original original version, VC ninety two. What a great wave of figures that was! Malgus, Luke Skywalker, Anakin, Navy Commander, and Darth Vader. And then we had the deleted scenes figures: Luke Skywalker, Colonel Kraken, Rebel Pilot, Princess Leia, Lando. And then we had some of the Phantom Menace ones: Qui Gon, Anakin, Quinlan Vos, Rats Terrell. And then some of the some of the vehicles that came out as well. Just awesome, awesome time for vintage collection. But yeah, this was the uh, first version, and I know it's, I know the card sort of punched and it's sort of just worn from having it sort of hung up like this. I just didn't have, didn't always have the the protective cases um, that I have now, so it is going to be staying in this condition. Um, but yeah, that's that's the original Anakin. I do have the same one loose. Because it's, uh, it's a nice one. I do prefer this to the recent re-release of this figure. So they, they went back and re-released this one uh, very much recently. Uh, within the last year or two. Um, so we'll take a look at that one. And so again, numbered numbered as VC92. And just sort of showing some of the uh, re-release figures. Darth Maul, Wicket, Anakin, Obi-Wan were re-releases. Luke Skywalker, Stormtrooper, K2SO, Power Droid, and Commander Wolf. So, yeah, it's 2020. So already three years removed from this one. You can see not really a lot of difference in the uh, in the outfits. The old one is sort of rubber banded in there. The placement of the lightsaber and the hilts are different. I actually kind of like the way they sort of placed it over the body there. I think that looks really cool. But yeah, just getting a close-up look at the uh, the photo reel. It's doesn't look as good. Doesn't look as good. I see what they tried to do, but uh, would have worked well on a new mold. But they've um, just applied it to the old the old sculpt, and it just hasn't worked as well. He looks a little bit like he's uh you know in his fifties, and he's been on death sticks for a little while. But um, yeah, not too bad either way. It's nice to have both versions of it. Um, you know, I just, I just, just as a bit of a, a document to history, some of my favourite favourite characters, favourite action figures uh, from the vintage collection. I uh, I don't keep many on card, but for my favourites, I do. So this is the figure that started it all back in uh, 2008. From the uh, the Clone Wars, and I'll just see if there's a there is a date on here. There is. It's not standing out. Two thousand eight. Yeah. So that was when the movie came out. Two thousand eight. The original Clone Wars movie. And uh, I remember picking this one up. First Clone Wars figures I picked up were this one. Obi Wan Kenobi, um, and then their versions of the snow outfits. I remember just sort of bringing him home and just being like, this is this is cool. Like, I hadn't quite dipped my toes fully into the Clone Wars yet. 
but these figures were definitely a uh, incentive to uh, to jump in. Just having these versions of you know animated versions of Anakin and Obi Wan, it made me really want to dump jump into the series and and check them out. Um, and you know, obviously, <laughs> many many years later, still a diehard Clone Wars fan, and I might move them so we can focus on this one a little bit better. There we go. It's just trying to trying to focus on the background a little bit more, but we'll take a good look at the figure now. So a couple of versions of this one released, you know, different. There was one with a uh, space outfit. He was more articulated, uh, probably a better figure overall, but I just wanted to get this one out. This was the first one. Um, and yeah, these, these Clone Wars figures very much kickstarted, you know, my fandom of Clone Wars back in probably 08, late 08, 09. It was probably a few months after the movie came out. Who knows, it's the last decade just sort of blew past. Um, but yeah, big fan of this figure, the Obi-Wan that goes with it. I don't know, again, they're not, compared to what they brought out later, they're not as good, but still love it. Still really, really love it. I always have a uh, place in my heart, these Clone Wars figures, and uh, that, that entire Clone Wars line is still to this day one of the best best action figure lines that Hasbro have done with Star Wars. It's just so many amazing, amazing figures, character selection. It was just incredible. And, uh, you know, there's still a collection that is not by far, by far from being completed. Um, but I'd love to, love to finish that off one day. And with that, we have the latest version of Anakin Skywalker here from the black series six inch wave six inch line uh yeah this one came out with obi-wan kenobi equally as fantastic figure really really love these ones but yeah this was a uh this to this day still is one of my favorite black series figures don't know why it just i don't know it just it just comes back to this one having some nostalgia for this figure here and you know still blows my mind to think that clone wars you know, is, a, is at that age now where it provides nostalgia for people. Um, you know, I sort of grew up early, mid-20s with Clone Wars. And then with, you know, Season 7 coming out, you know, only a few years ago. Um, you know, it still holds a big place in my heart. Um, and that's why I think, you know, Ahsoka series coming out next week is just going to have such a big part to play um, going forward. It's... You know, with Filoni at the helm, I think we're in good hands. People always have their reservations and, and sort of, you know, go into it with sort of, you know, guarded a little bit. You know, we're all very protective of Star Wars and uh, I think it's, it's simply down to love and a passion for it. But yeah, there's just something about... Anakin Skywalker in this outfit, and like I was saying at the start of the video, to hear Hayden delivering Clone Wars sort of era dialogue is just, it, it just completely blew me away. I was, I was really sort of, I had goosebumps. I was like, wow, we're, we're getting this. There's always been talk of uh, Hayden having a sort of a role in the Ahsoka series as to in what sort of level is remains to be seen it's uh they've, they've kept it pretty close to their close to their chest there's been no major leaks that i've been aware of a few sort of rumors about what's going to go down in terms of some flashbacks or some world between worlds sort of things but um yeah, remains to be seen. We'll, we'll all know in about two months. <laughs> That's by then the sh series will be done, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be waiting for the next, the next big thing. Um, but you know, I think Ahsoka is going to be one of those series we're going to be revisiting. It's going to touch on, on Jedi. It seems to be going to be very focused on the Jedi apprentice master apprentice relationships, um, and personally, Ahsoka coming to terms with a lot of it. Um, with what she's been through at a younger age. So we'll see. But yeah, 
just wanted to share some Anakin Skywalker goodness with you all. I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, it's, some of these figures are just absolutely fantastic. And yeah, I, I do long for the uh, the hot toy version. It's still out there, so I may yet pick it up at some point. But uh, yeah, again, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and uh, may the force be with you always.